Good morning. Good morning. Um, we're on our five mile run, but we paused for a minute because um, I have a lot of questions to answer from you guys that you've submitted in the last week. Um, Victor asked if I go barefoot all the time, and no, I only go barefoot at home and when I'm just um, running and doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have to wear shoes at work. Um, mm -hmm. So I do wear shoes at work, but otherwise I try to go barefoot. So, and then somebody named William asked if they could see my running stride. So I'm gonna have Ray film that for us now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we finished our five miles. Randy Seiler asks if the leather-like skin allows us to run on hot blacktop. Well, it depends how hot you're talking. I can run on hotter stuff than most people can, but if it's too hot, no. So if the weather is really hot, I have to run in, in the evening or in, early in the morning. And the other one is how, the other thing Randy asked is how long did it take to build up the leather-like skin? Well, I've been going barefoot my whole life, so that's not, it's hard to say. I have worn shoes in the past regularly but the more I go barefoot the better so when I first started running barefoot I think that um, sorry I'm distracted I thought that was a guy from our church but it's not anyway um, <laughs> I, I saw I'm distracted I saw a runner going by um, what was I saying um, callus build up oh yeah the running yeah so Okay, when I first took my shoes off to start barefoot, it took, it kind of hurt a little bit at first, but I would say like within a month of only running barefoot, it was pretty much fine, I think. It's hard to remember. The next question is from Hiram Peeries. I hope I'm saying the name right. He asked if, and this is just going from memory, if I walked barefoot outdoors before I started running barefoot, and if I walked barefoot in my house before, and the answer to both of those is yes. Um, I walked barefoot. My dad and I, when I was a kid, we would go for really long walks out in these agricultural fields barefoot. Mm -hmm. And so we would experience all the different textures of dirt and mud and sidewalk and street. Cool. <laughs> so we would do that. Like I was probably like five, six, seven, eight years old, mm -hmm. 10 years old barefoot out in the fields. So I have a lot of experience hiking outdoors barefoot. I also would go camping barefoot. I, I did end up in the hospital for sticking a stick between my toes, but <laughs> I got blood poisoning. <laughs> but, um, but being, you can be careful and not stick sticks between your toes. And yes, and then of course, I always have gone barefoot in my house. Like even since I was very little, I always took my shoes off in the house. So, and Ray's been going barefoot in his house too. That's how you start. You start walking barefoot in your house get used to those textures and then little by little you progress to walking barefoot outside in the front yard then you go up to the corner and you it's progressive you go more for you go further and further once you can walk let's say half a mile barefoot on the asphalt then I recommend running slowly like a little jog probably half a mile and then progress run a mile then two miles three miles and just keep going hi there's a barefoot runner across the street um, and that's how you, it's basically uh, the building of the soles of your feet and also the sensations that you feel because when you first start out, the nerves on the bottom of your feet are extremely sensitive. Any little thing that you touch, it, it sort of hurts, but then over the days and weeks, you've developed, um, what's that word? You desensitize the, the soles of your feet. It doesn't feel as, as harsh anymore. And it builds, it builds, uh, what's it called? Um, it's the calluses and also it just, it just helps you um, when, when you're landing on your foot and you're running. It's not as, what's it called? It's not as sensitive. So and you didn't grow up barefoot, right? No. Yeah, he grew up, so this would be helpful for any of you mm -hmm. that didn't. So you have an example of me mm -hmm. who did grow up barefoot and then mm -hmm. Ray who didn't grow up barefoot. Mm -hmm. The two different experiences. Yes, uh-huh. So for people that have never never gone barefoot, it's a progression. You start walking barefoot indoors. You feel a nice warm floor. 
you know feel the textures get used to your nerves just being touching the floor bare and then get used to all the different temperatures mm -hmm. and little by little uh, over the weeks and months you start what's that word um, see again it goes back to being having nerve endings on the very bottom of your feet that are extremely sensitive to touch and temperature and, and the textures they're very very sensitive you could feel like a little tiny little pin so what I'm saying is over the weeks and months of barefoot training put that in quotes barefoot training you'll, you'll desensitize the bottom of your feet um, it doesn't mean you're gonna numb your feet it just means you, you become more um, what's it called in other words let's say you go out for a run barefoot it won't feel as as um, it won't feel as shocking it won't be as shocking um, it'll it'll be it'll feel natural and so just give that a try and it's little by little mm -hmm. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. And and it for me, it's the feeling of freedom when when you when you run barefoot. It's um it's kind of like yoga while running. Yo yoga, uh, if, if anybody has ever practiced yoga, yoga helps you. It centers your mind. It, it gives you presence of mind. It helps you focus in the now. And and especially people that that their mind wanders a lot, or if you're nervous, or have an anxiety, it helps you with that because what yoga does, it helps you with your breathing. And it gives you rhythm and it, and it helps you focus on the now and so if you run barefoot it's kind of like that not only are you running but you're also feeling the you're feeling the earth you're feeling the ground and you feel the different textures and um, how do I say this There's another runner coming it's um it's soothing it's healing um, it's uh to me cuz I'm a biker I'm, I ride a motorcycle it, it, I feel kind of like I'm on the motorcycle if anybody is a biker, they know that being on a motorcycle is like a, again like the feeling of freedom. You're out there on the bike and you're 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 accelerating, you're speeding up, and you feel the wind just blowing by your face and your body, and it's awesome. You almost feel like you're flying. So that's in the same way, um, running barefoot enables you to do that. It gives you that centeredness. The, your mind, it it just um, it's healing. I think it's therapeutic. And I think the way the palms of your hands feel things, it's similar to right. how your feet feel things. So like the right. texture of this wall back here, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's mm -hmm. it's really, it's a sensory experience in a good way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a sensory experience in a bad way when you hit things that kind of hurt. But I'll tell you, keeping the weight off, like both of us have gained a lot of weight lately. So keeping the weight off really helps with any pain whether you've gone barefoot your whole life or whether this is new for you because if you have too much weight on you it's it, just imagine it's all that weight pushing down on your feet so um yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we need both of us need to lose weight yeah so. me at least 20 pounds oh me too <laughs> yeah yeah okay is that good for now and that's it okay me. for right here we'll, we'll be right back okay hello again these are my medals i have run 12 races in my life there's three medals on each hook and look at this wonderful i've showed this before but it's a wonderful um, metal hook that my my mom's friend made for me it has a barefoot runner right here that she painted running on the beach by the islands um, but it's like 6 30 in the morning and you can see that i'm very sunburned we went to the beach all day yesterday, all Sunday afternoon, and I got really sunburned, but that's good. Um, I'm gonna answer the rest of the questions um, via uh, text. Like, I'll write the answers uh, with, wow, what am I trying to say? I'll just respond in the comments. That's what I'm trying to say <laughs> uh, for the rest of them because the weekend got by and I wanna get this posted. I hope you all are having a great day, and if you have more questions, please feel free to post them, and I will either answer them verbally or in writing. Have a great day!